Friends, if you have data in an Excel file and you want to load this data into a database table, you can do that in PHP using an external library. I will show you how to do that. I will load the data from an Excel file to a MySQL table using the PHP spreadsheet library. This is extremely helpful during go live when you have existing customer data and you do not want to do data entry, which is time consuming. Instead, you can get the data in a spreadsheet, verify it and upload it, which is fast and error free. So let's start the development. I have created a folder called import Excel under XAMPP HD docs and I have two files here customers.sql which is a create table script and a sample excel file. So I will open this in visual studio code type cmd enter and then type code space dot enter. We are creating a table here customers with the columns as name email age and gender and primary key is id and we have unique key on email. So let us first create this table in MySQL. I'll be using test database. So let me just create the table. Copy this. Select SQL, paste it here and click on go. Table is created. And if you see the structure, name, email, age and gender. So if we open this sample Excel file, we have some dummy data here. There are 15 rows. If you see, we have the same columns as in the database and we want to load this data into this customer's table. So we need the PHP spreadsheet library for this. So let us install that first. So go to Google and here search for install PHP spreadsheet. Select this PHP spreadsheet documentation. So if you scroll down, you can see there is an installation section. There is a command to install it. So we'll copy this command composer require php office slash php spreadsheet and go to our project folder and paste it here and enter. So it will start installing php spreadsheet. You should have composer already installed in your system. So installation is completed. And if you see here, there is a vendor folder created. In our project, you can see the library files are installed. Along with that, we have composer.json and composer.lock. Let us now connect to database. We'll write PHP script for this. Create a folder CFG and within that create a file dbconnect.php. Let's give dollar $connect equal to use new MySQLi and use localhost as the server name and root user. There is no password for the root user and use the test database. So we'll test the connection also if dollar connect connect error. If it cannot connect to database, we do not want to proceed. So we'll use die and also display the error message. So our database connection script is done. We'll create a form here to upload our Excel file. And once the file is uploaded, we'll read the file using PHP spreadsheet library and insert the data into the customer's table. So we'll create a new file index.php HTML5 give a title here import Excel data into MySQL table and we'll use bootstrap 5. Let us get it from get bootstrap type get bootstrap get bootstrap.com and select bootstrap 5 CDN copy this and paste it here remove this integrity and cross origin we don't need this for our local implementation and we'll use our custom style sheet here create a folder css and create a new file under it style.css we'll use very simple styles here with 50 percent and margin auto and some style for h1. So here in href give css slash style.css. Now in the body, create a container div first, create an h1, give the same heading here also. We'll create a form and give the form encode type. Since we'll be uploading the file, we need encode type equal to multipart form data. 
and we will be uploading the file. So we need an input field with type file. So we will use the input file here. Upload file. We will give the name as input file. Name, ID and for. And we will give a help text here. Allowed file types. XLS and XLSX. We need a file header for the input file. So must have give header line. To display the error message, we will use a div here and give class equal to text danger. We will be displaying the error message here and then we will add a submit button. Form submit, give a name, submit. So if we just run it, folder name is import excel. Let us make the label bold. Class form label, use a class here, font weight bold. Okay, so our form is ready. We will now write the PHP code to upload the file. So first we will include dbconnect.php cfg slash dbconnect.php now we'll check if the form is submitted if is set dollar underscore post submit submit button name is submit so once the form is submitted we'll first check if the file is selected if since we are using an input file you can see that type is file here so when we use an input file we'll have dollar underscore files this super globals will be available to us input file name is input file and then give the name equal to blank so this will be automatically available to us when you use the input file type equal to file so if the file is not selected we'll give a message let's give file error equal to please select a file else we will proceed for upload we will display this file error in the form so we already have a div here so we will just display it here and initialize this at the beginning so let us just test this so refresh it and just select submit without selecting any file so it's saying please select a file so our validation is working we will now get the file name. Let's copy this input file name. And also we will get the temporary file name. Just give TMP name. So when we upload the file, name and TMP name are automatically available to us. It will be uploaded from temporary folder to the destination folder. And when we get the file name, we will just check the file extension here. Let's get the extension of the file selected. We will use path info function. Path info, then give the file name and then give the constant path info extension. And we will change it to lowercase. Use str to lower function to change it to lowercase. So this will give you the extension of the file and we will define a valid list of file extensions. So let us define that valid extension equal to an array. We will define an array here. XLS and XLSX. So we are using two file extension here XLS and XLSX. So we will check the extension if it is in the list of our valid extension. So we will just check if we will use in array function. In array then give the extension and give a list of valid extension valid file else let's give err message equal to invalid file so we have to display this error message in the form let us first initialize this and we'll display this in our form so just before the form tag we'll use bootstrap alert here if not empty dollar error message so we'll use bootstrap alert here div dot alert and since this is error message we will use the class alert danger and display the error message so let us test it so refresh it select a file 
we will select a defined file let us select dot sql file here click on submit invalid file our validation is working so we will now upload the file we will give a different name for our input file dollar new file equal to we will use time function dot hyphen and then give the file name we will use the base name function here and give the file name we are using time function here which will give current time in number of seconds so this will be a number then hyphen file name we are using base name function to get the file name only without the path so this is our new file and then we will upload the file so we will use try catch here to handle the error use move uploaded file this is the function to upload the file and it needs the temporary file name to destination file name so destination file name we will use new file and we want to give a new folder here because we want to upload the file in a separate folder so we will create a folder here called uploads and all the uploaded file will be in this uploads folder so let us define that folder first at the beginning upload directory equal to upload slash and we will use this as our target directory so we will just concatenate here upload directory dot new file and in the catch section we will just display the error message give accession class and give dollar e as object and we will give error message equal to dollar e get message we are just uploading the file here from our local system to the server so we have used move uploaded file which will upload the file so let us just test it whether we are able to upload the file so when the file is uploaded the file will be in the uploads folder as of now this uploads folder is empty refresh it select a file so we'll select our sample file here sample excel file here click on submit we have not given any message so let's see whether it is uploaded or not so the file is uploaded here you can see that time function is used here and then hyphen and then the file name so we are able to upload the file now we will use php spreadsheet library and read the file and insert the data into our database table so if you go to this php spreadsheet documentation and if you see there is an example given here hello world so we need to include this autoload.php first so copy this and insert here so add it at the beginning vendor autoload.php and if you see in the vendor folder there is a autoload.php already installed again go to php spreadsheet documentation select reading files and then scroll down creating a reader and loading a spreadsheet file so we will use this excel sx class here this one we will use reader excel sx we will copy this so here we are creating an object of excel sx class to read the excel file and once this is done then we will select spreadsheet reader load input file so copy this paste it here now we will have to load the file in a spreadsheet so we will give our input file name here so our input file is nothing but this so we will just replace this so here give worksheet equal to dollar spreadsheet get active sheet so we are pointing to the active worksheet then we will convert it to an array dollar data equal to dollar worksheet used to array method so all the data is now in the dollar data array and this data has row and columns like we have rows and then columns so if you see in the excel file we have a header here this also contains the header line we need to remove that so use unset and first row is dollar data 0 remove header and for the remaining data we will use a for each loop dollar data is dollar row so for each row we have name email age and gender we will be using the index as 0 1 2 and 3 to get the respective values so dollar name would be dollar row 0 similarly just copy this name email age and gender so this will be 0 1 2 and 3 so if the customer is new we will be inserting it and for existing customer we will be 
updating the data. So first we will check whether the customer exists or not. Email is unique. So we will check with this email ID. Check if customer exists. So use the select statement here. Select start from customers where email equal to give question mark. We will use prepared statement and give dollar statement equal to and see our database connection here. We have dollar connect as connection object. So we'll use that and use prepare method and give the dollar SQL and then we have to bind the parameter. So we have one placeholder here and it is string. So give S and give dollar email. We already got dollar email and then execute. Once it is executed, get the result now. Use get result method. So now check if number of rows is greater than zero. So if dollar result num rows greater than zero, that means customer already exists. So update. Else new customer. So we'll use insert statement. So we'll have to write SQL statement. So I'll just copy this. Use update. Update customers. Set name equal to give question mark age equal to question mark and gender equal to question mark where email equal to question mark. So we have to now bind parameter. There are four parameters here. Name, string, age, integer, gender, string and email string. So S I S S dollar name and then dollar age and dollar gender and at the end email. We are executing it. And for the insert statement, we'll copy this and we'll write the insert statement. Here use insert into customers. Just remove this. And if you see the columns in the customers table, name, email, age, gender. Name, email, age, and gender. Values give four question mark here. And when we are binding the parameters, string, string, integer, string. So S, S, I, S. And the values will be name, then email, then age, and gender. And then execute it. So when the loop is over, we'll give a message here, dollar success message equal to file uploaded successfully. So in a loop, we are reading the file row by row and getting the values from the columns. And depending on whether it's an existing customer or new customer, we are updating the customer detail or inserting the customer detail. It should be values here. So let us now test it. So refresh it and select the file. Submit. We have not given any message here. So let's see whether the data is uploaded or not. Okay, data is inserted here. You can see there are 15 rows inserted in the database. We need to display this success message. So if you go to the form here, just copy this. This would be success message. And give this success message. And use the class alert success. So now let us test it. We we'll just delete the data just to make sure everything is fine. Refresh it. Select the file. Submit. So it is saying file uploaded successfully. And if you see in the database. So the file is uploaded in the database. Now we need to add few things here. We'll use transaction here so that Either we will commit all the rows successfully or we will not upload anything in case there is any error. So just before the try block, use a begin transaction. Use dollar $connect begin transaction. So transaction starts here. So in case there is any error, we will roll it back. When all the data is successfully inserted, we will use commit. And in case there is any error, we will use rollback. So let us just test it. 
will make email id as blank here so insert statement will fail for this row and data will not be committed here so, so let us test that let us delete everything so table is empty now and we are going to upload this data with a blank email id for this row so it should give error and all the data which are inserted before this should be rolled back so let us test that now refresh it choose a file select file submit so it gives error saying that email cannot be null and if you see in the database there is no data since there was an error it rolled back the rows that were inserted before the error occurred so we tested it successfully so now we'll test the update customer for existing customer it should update the data let us undo this and first load this data select file so file is uploaded so data is inserted here now we'll update this so make it 40 for the first row so if you see in the database it is showing age as 30 and we are updating is at 40 so that we can test our update statement select the file submit file uploaded successfully go in the database and see so it is now updated as 40 age 40 so our update statement is also working fine so we have successfully tested and loaded the data into a database table from an excel file using php spreadsheet library if you find it useful please like and subscribe to my channel this video was about reading an excel file and loading the data into a database table you can also create excel and csv files and download them with or without using the php spreadsheet library watch the videos on the screen to learn how to implement them thank you